Good morning to all of you. Welcome to my TORS class. We are discussing very important case, landmark case, famous case in vicarious liability, where it was held that the state has to pay compensation to the act done as a non-sovereign function. State of Rajasthan versus Vijayavati, 1962. So this is an appeal case. Please remember. Right. So here what happened is there was a jeep to collector of Udaipur. So this happened in the 1962. Means uh, 1952 the incident took place. At that time collectors were provided only with chiefs. Now they are travelling in Krishna or Innova cars. It was in, I have seen the collectors moving in jeep in the year 1977 or so. <coughs> On 11 to 1952 the collector's jeep which was kept in the repair shop for some repairs. It was taken out by Mr. Lokmal, who was a probationer or temporary driver of the state of Rajasthan. He was bringing the collector's jeep to the bungalow. Right? He was bringing, after necessary repairs were completed, he was getting back to the collector's bungalow. Then, <coughs> while driving back on 11-2-1952, it knocked down, the jeep knocked down one Jagdish Lal who was walking on the footpath, causing him multiple injuries including fractures on the skull and bone. The abake were recommended, skull fracture, bones fracture, ultimately after three days he died in the hospital. Ever in Jagdish Lal, Vijayavati Bharta. Vijayavati, I'm a pillalu. So they were helpless, ultimately. Jagdish Lal's widow, Vijayavati, Vijayavati's minor daughter, aged is about 3 years, and her so minor daughter, she cannot directly file, she filed two through Vijayavati. So, Tali, Kuturu, Vilameda, case weight and Jarigindi, right? Lokamal Meda and also Rajasthan, state of Rajasthan for damages, collecting or jeep gavati, either ne respondent jason case is. State of Rajasthan argues that it is a sovereign duty, discharge of official duty. It was a simple point. So, matter went up to the Supreme. So, State of Rajasthan did not agree. No, an accident has come. That too, that man was travelling on the footpath. How can this man go and hit him from backside? No, constitution is the mother of all laws. Article 300, yes. You who have sovereign or not, Article 300, the state is liable, vicariously liable for the act done by the employees. If it is a sovereign duty, we accept here. What is the sovereign duty? If the collector were to be in the jeep, then we would have taken it as sovereign duty. Collector got jeep la undi, bangla kaltana, let a duty kaltana. Either a jarigunte, okay, we could have taken it as a traffic sovereign duty. Collector is not there, then how careful should have been? Sajanga manajarika. Collector got bando lapatana, happy a ruth outer. Unko case make a srimati case and jiptano. Darli laga zaruthun. So kabati, since the collector was not there, and the state of Rajasthan argued that it comes under sovereign power. Of course, 133 constitution can the world SLP permission this can Supreme Court. So please remember, Supreme Court agreed that the act is not in furtherance of the sovereign function. So therefore, you cannot claim any immunity. Immunity and VQ, Article 361 discussed, no immunity. So, the first defendant, that is Lokmal, he was rash or negligent in driving the vehicle, in driving the jeep. As such, the result is the accident. Basically, so he is criminally and ultimately death of Jagadish Lal was caused. So therefore, who is the owner of the vehicle? So state is the owner of the vehicle. So for the act done by its servant, he is a non-sovereign function. But still, the state has to pay compensation. No other go. The state has paid it also. This is a case which went up to the Supreme Court level. Government has been arguing sovereign duty, sovereign duty. Ultimately, only one point. 
So if it is sovereign duty, if the collector was there in the jeep, yes, you could have taken as a sovereign duty. When the collector is not there, it's not a sovereign duty. Pay compensation, that's all. Okay, very good case law, classic case law. Please don't forget this. Thank you.